Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini. I'm a radiologist subspecializing in interventional radiology in New York City. Now, many of you all may remember from prior videos that I wasn't always in the medical field. It was later on in my life when I decided to go into medical school. For those of you who don't know, I was actually in the corporate world for a short period of time before I made that decision. So I decided it may be a good idea to make a video detailing why exactly I left corporate America for a career in medicine to become a doctor. Hopefully you all enjoy this video, it's a little different. So let's go ahead and get into it, let's go. So let's go ahead and get into why I left my corporate job to become a doctor. It's quite a journey. It's been over 10 years now, and hopefully it may be able to help some of you all out that are in the same shoes I once was 10 years prior. So in this video, we're going to detail exactly how I ended up in corporate America. We're gonna talk about when I realized the corporate world was not for me. We're gonna talk about why I hated the corporate world. We're gonna talk about when I decided to leave the corporate world. Next, we'll talk about why medicine was the right career decision for me. And then I may make a weird comparison at the end, so you'll have to stay tuned till then to see what I'm talking about. So let's first get this video started with how I ended up in the corporate world to begin with. As a freshman at the University of Georgia, I was also an athlete. I was a swimmer on scholarship there focusing almost 100% of my time on athletics. During my time as an athlete, I didn't really have much additional free time to consider what kind of jobs I was actually interested in. I was more so just focused all of my attention and time on swimming. So what happens when you don't know what you're going to do with your life or have any idea or any direction what you're going to do in your life at the ripe old age of 18 years old? Well, you just kind of Go with the rest of the people and take whatever major your advisor gives you or thinks you'd be interested in. So for me, that happened to be economics, which I didn't know a darn thing about economics when I first started that major, but I knew there were a lot of people in the corporate world who made some good money and I was surrounded by a lot of real estate folks growing up in my town in Georgia. How bad could it be, right? So I ended up graduating college with a degree in economics, which wasn't really useful because I didn't really know what to do with it. So I actually got pretty fortunate when I finished college, I had one of my prior friends who graduated before me offer me a job to work for a property management slash commercial real estate firm in Georgia. So I got this job and I found out pretty quickly that it wasn't going to be the right job for me. Once I found that out, I did what anybody interested in real estate would do. I got my residential real estate license because I didn't know what else to do and I thought at least I could expand my knowledge and expand my horizons by doing so and maybe even do some real estate on the side of the property management gig. I actually almost left that property management job for a commercial real estate broker job in Atlanta, but after talking with them, I realized that some of them would go months and months spending all this time into deals and showing customers and clients different options to purchase. Then fast forward six months later and they couldn't afford it or financing fell through, which means the last six months of their lives was a complete waste of time. And I did not want that to happen to me. I also didn't really like being on someone else's time. So I figured the only way out of this corporate life was real estate. And then I realized real estate wasn't for me. So I was kind of stuck. I didn't know what to do. So now let's talk about why I hated the corporate world to begin with. So for one, I hated driving 45 minutes in traffic to the office every single day of my life. I felt like I was wasting so much time in the car and I actually calculated what And I actually calculated how much time I was wasting one time and it ended up being almost one month time spent every year being in the car, commuting to and from work, which is such a waste of time, I can't even describe it. I also didn't like performing useless, monotonous tasks day in and day out just to benefit some large corporation. I had no incentive to work harder. I also felt like my brain was just kind of turning into a mashed potato because I wasn't really using it. My job was pretty easy. I wasn't challenged throughout the day and after about two months, I had my job nailed down 
100%. And there was no real room to move up or be challenged or anything like that. My job essentially never afforded me the ability to think critically or be creative or anything of that nature. And I actually figured out one day I went out to eat for lunch and I was calculating a 20% tip on the bill and I had trouble calculating the 20% tip, which is the easiest math in the world. And at that moment I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do something else in my life because I feel like I'm turning into like a brain dead 23 year old. Or however old I was, I was like 21 or something, 22. So now let's talk about when I realized I wanted to leave the corporate world. And that didn't take long. It probably took about maybe three months, I'd imagine. So it took me a good first two months to kind of get accustomed to how things went, learn my day-to-day -day routine, learn the people, what was expected of me, all that stuff. I pretty much knew how to do everything and that was pretty much it. It was the exact same thing day in and day out without any challenge whatsoever. So when did I decide to leave the corporate world exactly? Well, that was about one and a half years after I got my job at the property management slash commercial real estate firm to begin with. Luckily, at that time, I had already been researching going back to school to do my prerequisites for medical school, and I actually already applied paid my tuition and all that stuff to go ahead and start that coming summer as my first summer semester of those prerequisite courses. And I intended to plan on working during at least the summer portion and go full time starting in the fall semester of that year. Fortunately, or unfortunately, those plans changed pretty quickly because about this time, about 1.5 years after working there, they approached me and wanted me to move offices which honestly wasn't that bad, but the problem was I just moved to downtown Atlanta, which was about a five minute drive from my house instead of the 45 minute commute that I was talking about earlier. I just got there, about 30 days later, they wanted me to go somewhere an hour away from where I just moved to. And I asked my vice president at the time who wanted me to move, I said, what happens if I don't wanna to go to that place? And her response was, well, we're gonna to have to let you go. At that time, I figured out that, oh, one, they don't care about me, and two, it was a blessing in disguise, so to speak, and it gave me the impetus that I was doing the right thing, going back to school and going into medicine. So even though it was a little bit tough because I got laid off of my job because I didn't wanna go an hour to another office, at the same time, it was kind of a relief because I could focus 100% on getting into medical school. So why ultimately was medicine the right career path for me? Ultimately it came down to me wanting something more meaningful out of a job and out of a career. I wanted to make an impact on people's lives rather than just work hard to benefit some person at the top of a giant corporation. I wanted to use my skills, my knowledge, my brain to help others and to benefit society as a whole. That's what it ultimately came down to. And after many, many hours at night thinking, researching, browsing forums and all this stuff, I ultimately decided career medicine was right for me and I decided to pursue it. On top of that, I wanted something that challenged me on a daily basis and afforded me the ability to think critically and think for myself and think on my toes and make split second decisions because all of these things make your neurons fire and keep you on your toes and keep you excited about going to work every day. Well, at least it keeps me excited about going to work every day. Also, I wanted something that was different every single day. My job, I see many different patients throughout every single day and no two patients are the same. There's always a challenge. There's always a hurdle I have to overcome. There's always a part in the day when I have to use my brain and think, what else can I do to get through this procedure or what's plan B, what's plan C? I always have to have these options and be challenged on a day-to-day -day basis. It keeps you on your toes, that's all I can really say and that's what I've been looking for out of a job and luckily I found it in interventional radiology. Keeping with the common theme of having to use my brain on a daily basis, I wanted something that required me to be educated and keep my knowledge base up my entire life. And what better than becoming a doctor? I have to do continuing medical education every single year, stay up to date on the latest medical trends and research, and that's something that kind of keeps your brain working for many, many years. And that's what I like. Furthermore, I wanted the ability to build something with my hard work. I worked for 10 years to become a doctor and become where I am today as an interventional radiologist and I wanted to use my abilities to build something of my own. I don't want someone at the top telling me how to run my practice. I want to do me, be creative, 
do what I want to do to help people. And what better place to do that than this field. And finally, I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer because I'm not hating on anybody working in the corporate world because many people have amazing jobs in the corporate world and are doing amazing things for our country. I just happen to be not one of them. I did not have a good corporate job and for me, it wasn't the right fit. Many others though, it is the right fit. So I just want to be clear on that. Some people like it, some people don't. Also, some people don't like blood. Some people do. Well, that sounds bad. I don't like blood, but it, it doesn't bother me. You get what I'm saying? Everybody likes something different and everything works out for different people. So I'm not hating on corporate America or anybody who works in corporate America. It's just not my cup of tea personally. So I told you at the beginning of this video, I'd give you kind of a weird comparison uh, about my job. The point of that was to A, get you to watch till the end and B, I'll tell you my favorite job that I liked that reminds me the most of being a doctor, and you're probably gonna think I'm crazy, but bartending is very similar to being a doctor. And hear me out here, not because I'm prescribing alcohol or anything like that. I loved being a bartender, and I realized it was because I held all of the knowledge and I had the ability to help people and give them drinks because of all the knowledge in my head. I had this whole Rolodex of drinks that I could make and cocktails and I knew how to do all this stuff and I could make an awesome cocktail for them. And the best part about it was they came to me. I didn't have to go to some office to do so. They just came to my bar. I made a great cocktail with my knowledge and it was pretty rewarding. It's not, it's not, this sounded a lot better in my head. It's kind of the same thing in medicine because as a doctor, you go to school, learn all these treatments and how to diagnose, treat disease processes and all that stuff which is the same thing in bartending school where you learn how to make drinks and learn all these cocktails and all this stuff. And then the patients come to you, you treat them and it's rewarding. It's the same kind of vibe, just way different, but I'm, hopefully you guys can see the similarities in that and don't think I'm crazy. But I'll leave you with that weird comparison because this officially concludes this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. It's a little different. Just wanna give you all a little insight and hopefully it'll help some of you all who are making similar decisions to the one I made over a decade to go. And like I always say, I've never regretted that decision. I absolutely love what I'm doing, even though it's taken me 10 years to get here. So on that note, make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. Leave a comment below. I'm curious to see what you guys think and if any of you all are going through this same kind of dilemma. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.